Are you able to like pull audio off of the uh Facebook live? Can you can you do that? Potentially. Because I need audio in order to upload it on the uh the things or whatever, like the podcast stuff. She said one minute. What is understood doesn't have to right, right. Now that so I agree with. What what's understood does not have to be explained, but yes, unfortunately, sir. some people but common right, sense so ain't common. Is that true? All right, so. Let me hit the record while I'm here, but fuck it. All right, so while we're waiting on Whitney to come in, okay, so we're going to go to question number three. Um, This is a scenario, and this is a real life. I don't just be pulling this stuff up, y'all. Like, that's why I say this podcast is kind of based off my personal life, you know, a little, you know, a lot, actually. All right, the scenario is married but separated. It don't matter how they separate it, be it, you know, but they're married, they're still legally married, um, but a family member dies, and the, the situation was, the guy is married, oh, there's Whitney, hold on. Uh, okay, so we're, <laughs> okay, so y'all, there's not no delay or anything. Whitney is currently tuning in, you know, um, uh, logging in. But while she's doing it, okay, so the situation was there's a married man. There's a married man, uh, but he's separated from his wife. He's still legally married. Hey, but, y'all. hey. Hey, Whitney. Hey, Whitney. He, um, he is a family member of his dies, but... He want he's taking his uh it was said that it was disrespectful, but he he took his current girlfriend to the funeral. And then the family and the wife got mad because they was like, Why would you bring your girlfriend to the funeral when you still married and you know your wife and kids is gonna show up? And so I was like, That's his girlfriend. He's grieving. Isn't he supposed to take his girlfriend to the to the funeral? Like, so I'm confused. So like Help me understand. So was the guy wrong? Was the husband wrong for taking his current girlfriend to a cousin's or aunt's funeral, even though he knew that his wife and children were going to attend? It was his aunt's funeral or hers aunt's funeral? His aunt's funeral. What what you mean? Like his wife's aunt or or his aunt? Yeah. Oh, oh, guess who's showing up? Guess who's popping in? He's Nope. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Ken! <laughs> oh, but it's, uh... Don't y'all do that. Like, y'all give Ken a hard time. Everybody like... It's, um... It's, so it's oh, oh that's, okay. Patrice just said how long they've been separated. That's a great question. That's, that's a great, a great question. question. How long were they? How long were they separated? I, I don't know. I'm gonna say... Like a year or so. I'm not sure. I'm so not, they're technically I, legally separated, right? Like, you, when, do, when do you know a black person get legally separated? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like hey, Ashley, did you already <laughs> say if it was his aunt or the girlfriend? Yeah, it, it's his aunt. It's his oh, girlfriend. His, his aunt. Oh, go ahead. Oh, no. Okay, so it's his aunt's funeral, but he's bringing his girlfriend his to the funeral. Girlfriend. Right. The and then you know we pay respect so of course his wife his legal wife and children attend the funeral because they've been married they've been together for years so she's going to pay her respect she know his aunt you know so and it's her kid aunt yeah it's her kid kid's aunt. Kid. basically okay. that's so, great aunt. so Jacqueline you're the guest so what do you think about that who's starting it up <laughs> I don't know. It just depends on how long they've been separated for one. And then for two, that's his aunt. So he can, you know, 
do what he wants. Yeah, basically, but it would be different if <laughs> her aunt, you know, but I don't know. I say he was, he was, he had every right to bring whoever he wanted to. He's grieving. You need some, you, everybody need that person to rub on and be like, it's okay, baby. It's, it's our, <laughs> you need that. I'm, I'm on the fence about it. Okay, w- what is it? Yeah. I'm on the fence about it because I feel like if they got mad, especially at a funeral, he had to know that they were going to feel some type of way. And that day, I get that he's grieving and it shouldn't be about them. It shouldn't be about, you know, saying goodbye to the aunt. <sighs> However, it's like, I don't, I don't know. The only, the only thing, the only rebuttal I, I don't know. The only rebuttal I would have to that, Courtney, is just like I think the only I think the also what we we would have to take into consideration is how they separate because that could also be the reason why they're gonna be mad at him anyway if he left. Can't hear you. Can't hear me. Yeah, there you go. You back in now? Okay, I I said that also. I was like, uh, was she the side chick? Was she the mistress? You know, and he was like, he was like. Okay, uh, Damon said, if I'm pronouncing it correct, he said, if my aunt passed, I'm bringing my girlfriend that that I'm serious with to the funeral. I wouldn't even think my ex-wife would come to the funeral, to be honest. I mean, well, she would come. To, you know, Black people, we pay our respect. Please don't come, no matter yeah. if they were actually separated or not. If they were yeah. separated, he, she would still come because that's just how that's just how it works. Like, you imagine respect. Married, yeah, imagine you've been married to somebody for 20, 25 years or however long y'all been married. Like, whenever you if you get if you separate or even get divorced, like it just it doesn't just automatically cut off. Like there are still connections, kind of like how Ashley was saying about, I'm a, I know this is probably like a little level under, but just like how you were saying how you connected with the guy, his mom, you know, mm-hmm. just because two people separate doesn't mean necessarily that they cut off everybody in the family, especially if they've developed really good relationships with them. So, I mean, it wouldn't be surprising that something like that happened. Now, if it was something like the wife's the, or the yeah the wife's um aunt passed and he was going to the funeral to show his respect because that was his kid's relative as well it would be disrespectful for him to bring his girlfriend there but you know with that being his his own relative um i mean i don't think it's necessarily disrespectful but again i also wouldn't be separated with a girlfriend mistress you know <laughs> flaunting all around town and doing whatever y'all doing like that's just crazy but um i mean I, it's bring what you want i personally don't i don't think it's disrespectful at all i think i think i need to know like it's i need what, to know if he knew it was going to be a problem you know what i mean he didn't he said he didn't because he was like he said after the what the repast he said they a couple of the male cousins pulled him to the side say bro why why you brought that girl here you know you don't need bring. i'm like because i was like what's the problem you're grieving you're grieving, even if it was his side chick, even if it was, they ain't together no, him and the wife ain't together no more. They, right. you know, I mean, it's over with. He with her. He lives with her. See, that's like, my thing, though. Y'all are, still, y'all are still married, though. Like, I mean, separate, like, I, 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 hey, I, yeah, I just don't I, think, I, I like, agree if, with that. if you're I separated, I, I can understand you're, you're separated. But if you're separated, just stay separated. You got a whole wife. You got a whole wife, I, mistress. Like that's just complicate things. Like, like people see you around, and you bring in your little girlfriend. Everybody know you was married, and depending on who who you're with or who's talking, it's just like some people might not even know the depths of your relationship. So it's just like, okay, such and such is married, but he brought a girlfriend. Like they probably don't even know the whole story. But that just looks horrible to me. Well, my whole thing that's is true. like. And and I, I totally agree with that. Me personally, I wouldn't have a girlfriend if I'm still legally married. But there's been some circumstances where I've seen, you know, I've, I, I have family members that have been separated and their spouse refuses to sign the papers. And oh, yeah, it's that's like, true. Yeah. It's like, okay, well, I'm trying to move on with my life. We've been separated for, for two, you know, however long. Like, you not want to sign the papers. I'm still going to move on with my life until we really take this to court. So it's always, like you said, it always depends on the situation. As far as that situation, I don't see anything wrong with it. You know what I'm saying? If you're separated and it's been 365 days, okay, like. It, 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 no, let's not even put in the days in it. Like, they're not together, period. 
He's living well, in the no, house. Well, no, if it's woman. fresh, I would be like, uh, like if if the aunt died and they just separated a month ago, I'd be like, okay, bro, well, you then, well, then I think that's on the woman then, because back to the previous question, using common sense, right? right I would yeah. say if I was the, his girlfriend, I was like, mm, babe, I'll be here when you get back, like, because I don't yeah. want no problems, you know. I don't, you know. Just using yeah. common sense. But then again, also at the same time, I am a woman where I'm like, oh, I'm going to be there for my man. So, you know, they, I'll just have my little mason and my taser in my pocketbook, you know. <laughs> Not the taser. I mean, got to light their ass up, you know. But uh, sometimes you do what you just... But uh, Ken, you're up here. Uh, what's your thoughts on that? Um, yeah, with a situation like that, regardless of what's going on if if they're separated and they've gone their own ways then whoever he or she chooses to bring it's not like you know it was something like rsvp are you coming to the wedding or not they're coming to show their respects and once they come and show their respects it's not like they're trying to hang out with the person that they're separated with they with their people and nine times out of 10, they're going to show their respects and leave. If the family wants them to stay around and, you know, hang out and reminisce and stuff like that, that'll be totally on them. But it's like the person that they're bringing, if that person starts to feel a little uncomfortable being there, then it's up to that person to be like, hey, you know what I mean? If you're not feeling comfortable, we can go. But you've paid your respects. That's that's the way I see it. Yeah, that's, what, that's how I was, I, agree. I was like, like people with funerals, because you know how you have people, you have, I feel like, and correct me if I'm wrong, or edit me if I'm wrong, you have two types of people that go to the funeral. Well, three. You got the nosy mother, you got the nosy motherfuckers, slash hungry, you know, and then you got the people who want to pay respects, and then you got the people who, um... want to see if you he really did. <laughs> no! No, you got to... <laughs> You got to be who, like, just genuinely there, like, you know, who, ah, listen, my thing is, okay, I will say this right here, using personal stuff, um, when one of my family members passed, I think it was, I don't know if it was my grandma or my mom, but, like, my brother, it was multiple women there, I'll just say that, <laughs> like, and, listen, it was multiple women there. He had multiple girlfriends. Or either, like, he had one main girlfriend. But then, you know how, you know how niggas is. You know, he's still dibbling and dabbling with other women, you know. And so, they were feeling some type of way. And I just realized, what, uh, maybe, this is 2020. So, maybe, like, four months, maybe five months ago, my grandma passed in, like, 2017. My brother came over here, and he was, like, his current girlfriend, he was, like, uh, she said you was trying to be funny at the repast. Like, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? Something about a cake being smushed. Like, I said, you know what? That's why, that's one of the reasons why some people don't even like serving food after to, to, to strangers or whatever after the repast because it just be some funny business going on. And I was like, wait a minute. I said, hold up. So this is what, 20, so three, I said, you want to say something about this three years later? I was like, first of all, I don't even know her. I don't even know her. And why would I smush her cake? Why am I, why would I focus on one of your girlfriends at my grandmother's funeral? Like, so that was one person I'd be like, she didn't even have to come. That's like, and I knew that there were like three women there that was linked to my brother. My God. Three women, but. I didn't have to say anything. Like, I'm the type of person where I, I cook, but, like, to keep my mind off of shit, you know? And so, but my one of my cousins, two of my cousins was like, they know not to start no shit. Like, they was the bodyguards. They was like, I don't, we don't mind y'all being here. We know y'all knew our grandmother, but just don't start no shit. Won't be no shit, you know? So you got to have, like, those type of family members, um, which I think he did say that there were some cousins there. Not my brother, but the guy who I was conversing with that brought on this scenario, he was like, they was just there for like, oh God, I hope, you know, like female cousins, like just in case if the two women, you know, they could like separate them or whatever. But uh, yeah, I don't think it's a big deal. I think I looked at it as like grieving, like whoever you with at the time, if they got that day off or can request that day off, they go to the funeral with you. That's just what it is. So I agree. Hmm. All right. 
So Whitney, have you made up your mind? Like, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, Courtney, you made up your mind yet? Like, she need to, she should have stayed her ass home or she could go with her boyfriend. Like, where, where you at with it? I think I decided since it was his aunt. <laughs> you still don't know. What? No, 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 no. I think because because it was his aunt, and then plus he, I guess he gen, if he genuinely did not know it was going to be like an issue. Because I mean, I think maybe sometimes I can be kind of uh, clueless or maybe naive sometimes where I'm like, this ain't a problem. But <laughs> so, <laughs> maybe if if that was the case, I think that is it's okay. Like. Especially since it was his aunt. I think that's what I'm kind of wrapping my head around. Like, it's his aunt. He should have the right to bring whoever's going to help him go through it. And I think I'm kind of with Whitney when it's like, if it was her aunt, then that's like probably a whole different story. Right. Yeah, if it was her uh, aunt, I, he probably didn't even have to go. But then again, he should go because he was married to her. Or either just put some money, put the $20 in the card and, and the sympathy card and just lay it on the table. You know. It's 2021. Nobody ain't doing that. So people just showing up. No, some people ain't even going. Oh yeah. Oh, because well, they can't go because of the fifty. The fifty. Uh, no, no, no. Limit. I'm saying, even even if 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 um COVID wasn't even around right now, you have people that get so detached from that situation that you know they're like, okay, they passed away. I'm I'm not dealing with that family anymore, and they just don't go. Oh yeah, that is right. That's another topic. And I also want to talk about uh, cremation and being buried, buried and stuff. I want to talk about that, too. I want to talk about that, too. Yeah, I, I really want to talk about that. But, okay, so let's go on to the fourth one. Um, okay, so the fourth one is uh, uh, has been circling around the internet and stuff. So if Michael B. Jordan marries Lori Harvey, 